Hello, my wonderful friends. Content creation on YouTube is a very interesting journey. It is a process that requires continuous learning, especially if you want to improve your channel greatly within a short time. So friends, to facilitate growth on your channel, you need to continue to research, you need to unlearn and relearn. You really need to find out what others are doing to improve their channel performance. If you take your time to analyze my channel and compare my most recent videos with the older ones, you will agree with me that there has been some significant improvement on my channel due to the research and implementation of the new knowledge that I gained. So here in this video, I'm going to share with you the technique that I use to upload my videos to make it gain more exposure. So continue to watch this video till the end. Do not skip any part of it for you are really going to learn a lot from here. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Kali Suzonyochi and I make videos on tech and how to make money on the internet. And if you are a returning visitor, you are highly welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. I share a lot of values here. Yes, friends, you are really going to benefit a lot from my channel. So do not hesitate subscribing. Before you think of uploading your video or even shooting your video, it's very important for you to carry out a keyword research, all right? You have to research on the keyword you want to make a video on. You have to know how people are searching for it and where they are searching for it so that you know how to craft your video title. This is very important, all right? It is from the keywords that you have researched that you will craft your video title and then you can now go on to create your videos and what I do personally is that after doing my keyword research, editing my videos and then saving my videos, now I must have generated a title that I want to use for this video. So I am going to save this video with that same title that I have to use on YouTube. So I save both my video and the thumbnail with the same title that I want to use on YouTube. So after saving your video, you should go ahead and create a thumbnail, a beautiful thumbnail, a very catchy thumbnail that will attract users to click on your video. So you're going to do this and then save both the video and the thumbnail with the same title that you're going to use on YouTube. So friends, after saving your video files and then saving your thumbnail, it's also important that you generate tags that you're going to use on your video while you're uploading them. Tags play a very important role in your video. So it's important. There are many tools available that you can use to generate tags for your videos. Now, if you do not know about any tool for tag generation, or you would want me to put you through the best tool that I use for my tag generation, you can drop your comment in the comment section of this video. So I will create a video on the tag generator that I use. So let us say that you're done with all this, you're done with your video um, editing, you're done with your thumbnail creation, and you're done with your um, tax generation, you've crafted your title, and you've possibly written description for your video and saved it somewhere. Your description is also a very important thing to do. It helps the Google algorithm to know what your video is all about so it can suggest it to people that are interested in it so after doing all this it is now time to do the practical work and i'm going to upload one of the videos that i just did on my dashboard and i'm going to illustrate how i make use of all the components available to push my video for greater performance let us continue practically so friends, I am live right here on my YouTube channel dashboard. So one of the mistakes people make is to upload their videos from the YouTube mobile app. That is not right. Okay. You should always upload your videos from the YouTube studio app so that you will have a lot of options to optimize your video for better performance. So right here, I am uploading this video from a mobile device. So if you are using a mobile device, you can either use your Google Chrome, Mrs. Browser, Kiwi Browser, or any browser of your choice. And then I will encourage you to switch 
to desktop version of the mobile app. It's the best, all right? You should always switch the desktop version while you are opening your YouTube studio, okay? So that you have a lot of options to do whatever you wanna do while uploading your video. So to access YouTube studio from your browser, you are going to visit studio.youtube.com and then you are going to sign in with your YouTube um, account. That is the email address that is associated with your YouTube account. Then you have to sign into it. And once you visit studio.youtube.com, you'll be brought to your YouTube dashboard. So now to start uploading your videos, I have clicked on this create button here and I selected um, upload videos. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this button here that says select. That is to select the video I want to upload. Okay. So I've clicked on it, then I'll click on downloads, depending on the location of the video you want to upload. All right. So now I'll go on to look for this video that I want to upload. Okay. And the video I'm looking for is how to trade preps. All right. Now, if I navigate through this section, all right, you can see where the video is how to trade preps. Okay. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, now there is another file I saved with this same name, how to trade perhaps that is my thumbnail. But then if you look closely, we see that this file has an MP4 video format. That is to show that this is the correct file I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on it. And then the video is being uploaded. So while the video is being uploaded, this is where I have to do all the job that I have to do so as to make my video have a better performance okay so while the video is being uploaded I have to get all the components that I have created for my video and paste them in the right section so the first thing I'm going to do is to get the actual title that I crafted for my video so I'm going to go back to where I saved it right now I'm going to copy my video title okay and then I'll open back the YouTube Studio app. And then I'm going to highlight everything here. Okay. And then I'm going to paste the actual title that I want to use for my video. So that is it for title. Then I'll come down to these description section. These are AI suggestions. You, you, if you wish to use them, they are good too. AI will recommend some title for your video. But then if you have already crafted your own title, then it's fine. So I'll go down to the description section. I already created the description for this video and I have to copy it and paste here, right? So here is the description. I have to copy everything. I remember while creating your description, it's important to include some hashtags, okay, for your video. You have to take some hashtags that are related to the title you are uploading. So I'm going to paste the description here. Okay, so now the next thing I am going to do is to scroll down a bit because I'm using a mobile device. You can reduce the zoom. Okay, now I have to upload the thumbnail that I have designed for this video. So I'm going to click on this thumbnail, upload file rather, and then I'm going to search for the thumbnail I created, which is how to trade perhaps this one here. I have to click on it and I have to click on done. And then it's been uploaded. All right. Now, the next important thing to do is to select a playlist for this video. If you have not created playlists on your channel, it's very important to create playlists because what this playlist does is to group your videos into different categories according to how you created them. So that when someone is watching a particular video, another video from that same playlist will be recommended for the person to watch. So that way you are also promoting all your contents in that category. So playlist is very important. So now I'm going to click on this select button to select a playlist for my video. And I'm going to click on bloom airdrop. Right. And then I'm going to click on done. So now I have to scroll down and do the next task for this video. By default, I already selected that this video is not meant for kids. So you have to select that it is not meant for kids. All right. If 
you select that it's meant for kids that means the video is specifically for kids and you'll be limited on the number or kind of ads that will be showed on your video all right now after selecting not meant for kids remember very important no not meant for kids all right now the next thing i have to do is to ignore all these other places and scroll down to the tag section where i have to include my tags all right now i have to go down i have already created the tags i've generated the tags i want to use for my video now i have to go here and copy the tags that i generated for this video so i have copied it okay so i have to go back to that interface and i have to click on tags and i have to paste it here remember tags are keywords that are separated by commas you must separate each one of these keywords or key phrases by comma then i have to click on the enter button all right so here it is my tags are active oh it's more than the number of recommended tags so i have to gradually remove the tags that are not necessary for this video title okay so now i have to gradually remove them okay so friends after editing my tags the next thing i have to do is to add this same keyword in the key search term all right this same title that i used for my video i'm going to copy it and paste in this box that says add your key search term so i'm going to copy this same title all right and then i'm going to head down back to this place and then i'm going to paste it here okay you can see there there is a lot of work to be done whenever you're uploading your video you don't just upload your video and leave it if you really want it to go far okay so i think we are done with this section okay now um there's nothing remaining for us to do here in this particular place so now 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 let me check through is there any other thing okay now the next thing to do is to select the category for your video all right if you click on this category uh, you select whatever category your video belongs to if it's beauty how to or whatever it is all right you select the category and then you can decide if you want the comments to be on whether you want people to continually comment on your video or you want it to be off however you want it so now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on this next button all right click on this button that says next right here okay so now this is another important thing to do on your video while uploading them this is a very important feature end screen and cards it's important to add them they all play their own roles so i'm going to click on add okay now what do i want to add as my end screen i always love to use um the subscribe button and then one of my playlists so I'll scroll down a bit, okay? And then I'm going to, okay, let me use one video and one subscriber, right? For now, let me use it, okay? And then after selecting it, I'm going to click on save. Okay, it's going to automatically select the most recent upload and display it as my end screen. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is cards. Please do not skip this part. It's very important. You have to click on add. And then for the card, you can decide to use a video. I always prefer to use a video or you can use a playlist as well or another channel if you want to promote another channel. So I'm going to select a video here. OK. And then the videos come up and then I'm going to select whatever video that I want to use here. All right, just select any video of your choice. So I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to click on save as well. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this next button. Okay. And now YouTube has run a check on this video that I'm about to upload to see if it has some copyright or not. So no issues. I have to click on next. So this is another important section okay if you want your video to be displayed immediately then you click on public if you want it to be displayed to a specific person you click on unlisted if you want it to be private only people that have access to it can watch the video but now your video 
should always be public all right so it's going to always be public and then i'm going to go on to click on publish all right i'm going to go on to click on publish and voila my video has been published okay guys So that is it my wonderful friends always follow this process whenever you want to upload your video it is going to help your video to gain more views and exposure so please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed because i really share very useful content here on my channel thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video